Jason Trenzer. I'm Rob Dukes. We're Generation Kill. <laughs> I'm uh, Rob Machete. We, uh, we're here talking about We're All Gonna Die. It's part two. Um, we, um, after we laid down all the drums and, and, and Zeus did a little uh, editing to where we everything sounded killer, did all the guitars, I went into vocals. I did uh, 10 days of vocals. Um, tried a lot of new stuff that I had never tried before. Uh, experimented all over the album and then you know once I was done was really uh, you know satisfied with my performance and then then we brought in the other guitar players and they did their solos on the end um, we did most of the solos 95 percent of them were done we did them all together sitting in the room and then went on tour with uh, Heathen and Dust Bolt for a month in Europe and then when we came back um, during that time um, Trenzer had actually uh, created one of the solos in, in the songs, and, it had, and so we kind of went up there one more day, added it, did a final mix of the album. Um, yeah, most bands don't get the advantage of playing the whole record live before mixing and re yeah. releasing it. Usually it's the opposite, but uh, we tried yeah. something different this time. Like the, uh, the old 70s bands would go out and play the stuff live and see how it went over and kind of... Yeah, we took a risk because, you know, we were playing to crowds that, that had never heard any of the material before. So we took a little bit of a risk doing that, and uh, it worked out. You know, we um, learned the songs uh, better. We, we feel more comfortable with them. And, you know, coming back and hearing them, it, you know, it gave us better ideas in the mixing room, and we uh, added a few little things here and there. Um, I mean, I would love to be able to go out and play an album and then record it. That would be yeah. ideal, but, you know, today's... Maybe we'll do the next one that way. I don't know. We, we haven't figured it out yet. I know we, uh, we've we already started writing for the next album, so maybe we'll get to do that. Maybe we'll just play songs live and then and then work it out from there. Um, Nothing's off the table with this kind of a band, though. Everything that we are used to doing in our previous bands or current other bands, is it's all out the window for this. <clears throat> this we want this to be fun and experimental and, you know, no, no holes barred and no limitations. And... Uh, that's basically what what the whole band was based on from the beginning. The key was the key was uh, the pre-production of getting a real uh, semblance of what the songs were going to sound like, and then being able to write to a finished uh, uh, you know song that was you know okay this is the way it is, and and see if it all worked out. You know sometimes you want to add something here, or take something away, and you know it was kind of really cool to do pre-production completely. The album was pretty much done. And then just go in and record it as we were playing them live in, in practice. So um, no time wasted. No, there wasn't. It was it went killer, and you know, um, really proud of this album. I'm proud of all, all the all the the dudes. You know, everyone hunkered down, and and um, the one thing about the solos I want to talk about uh, the two guitar players, Jay Trenzer and Jay Velez. Like mine and Rob's goal was to make these solos memorable, like a vocal line. Um, play them live the way they are on the record. Uh, like a lot of the Metallica solos are so embedded in your brain, you almost forget about the rhythm track beneath it because it, it has its own melody. And these guys really stepped it up with, with the solos. They and just... Gary, Gary and Lee do that too. They, you know, in Exodus, they, they, um, they do their solos exactly how they are on the record. And whenever they mess it up, I'm always giggling at them, you know, because sometimes they take liberties. But um, yeah, that's the kind of idea. It's like when you hear the song, you want to hear it live. With, we have a little more movement in some of the stuff, like the yeah. experimental stuff that's kind of mellower, but for the most part, man, they, they, people want to, well, when I was a kid, when I saw it, we'd go see Rush or, or Metallica, I mean, it was like the record, man, it was pretty awesome, and I'm not really a big jam guy, except for Pink Floyd, I think they're the one band that can do it right. And, yeah, because everybody's tripping. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, like, you know, so, anyway. Um, that's basically it, man. Basically we, it. We had fun making the record, and uh, we hope everybody enjoys enjoys listening to it as much as we enjoyed making it and listening to it. Yeah, yeah I haven't listened to it in a while. <laughs> what a douche. <laughs> uh, but it's a great, you know, we're, we're, I'm really proud of it. Um, it's one of the best things I've ever done in my life. Um, this experience has been killer. So I thank the rest of my band, thank this guy, and uh, we hope you guys, uh, you know, Instead, Check of it out. instead of buying two cups of coffee at Starbucks, buy our record one day. November, That's all that it costs. November 16th? November November 15th in Europe, <laughs> Another the 18th in the UK, and then the 26th in the US.
So check it out. Thank you.